Hi everybody, uh, welcome back to my channel. And I just thought I would let you know that I picked up a couple more plants. Um, I think I'm gonna end here though because I don't have too much space left. Um, I picked up some lemongrass because I've been looking for it for a long time and it's sort of a staple ingredient for my um, Korean pho soup when I do make it. And then I picked up another pot of sage today because it looks so beautiful, much healthier than the ones that I purchased last week. And also I stopped by the dollar store and I picked up some more pots. I think I'm going to transplant my eggplants and put them over here because I think they need a little more room. And I'm going to try to even out my herbs and spices a little just so that they have more room to grow. So anyway, um, I did put up a video, when was it, about a month ago, um, describing my ACV drink with um, cranberry juice. However, I, I took it down because I was afraid that maybe some people might try to follow it. And I really think that you should only follow it if your doctor says it's okay. I'm not a medical doctor. I just know that my condition with an alkaline stomach really calls for some acid before meals. So this is what I put. Apple cider vinegar. I put about a tablespoon. And um, they say two tablespoons a day. But I put one tablespoon in the morning and... If I have any leftover, I'll drink it before my evening meal. And I fast. Normally, I just have some yogurt, apple, and bagel, a half a toasted bagel in the mornings. And um, right now, it is, let me see, 10.42. And I'm just making supper now. I'm warming up my oven. And... Um, what happened was last week I didn't find my multigrain bagels, so I bought these and as soon as I tried to eat half of it, it made me, it had, gave me a tight feeling in my stomach. So this week, today actually, I bought the sourdough bagels and I had a bagel today to try it out and you know what, it did, it did make me have that tight feeling in my stomach but it didn't last long so I'm gonna to try to go easy on bread for now and uh, because my vegetable soups make my tummy too alkaline um, I decided to pick up some protein I'll, I'll pick up a couple of these a week these are veal thinly sliced veal and um, I don't have meat every day. Sometimes I have chicken, sometimes I skip it all together. But there a couple of these packages a week I buy and it should last me a week or two. So um, back to the drink. I usually put one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon of lemon juice, one tablespoon of cranberry juice, pure cranberry juice, and one tablespoon of this. Now you can put cayenne pepper or anything that's spicy like ginger and mix it in very well. I usually use this to measure. The full, the full container is two tablespoons, so I am take it to about there. And then I mix everything together and I drink it before I uh, eat. Let's say about 10, 20 minutes before I eat. And then um, that's it. I, I normally feel pretty good, but today I had some stomach discomfort. And so it was a little scary, but it, it didn't last very long. It's basically the valve in my on the top of your stomach stays open when your stomach does not have enough acid so the food doesn't get digested very well and it causes a lot of discomfort so with this drink 
that valve tightens up and you don't get that discomfort. Actually, I hadn't had it in a very long time since my antibiotics were finished. So, you know, the thing is, if I have acid in my mouth, then the burning starts. So I usually try to drink it with a straw. And if my mouth does begin to burn, I have um, hydrogen peroxide and about a quarter teaspoon of hydrogen peroxide and um, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda with a half a cup of water and I mix it in but I really I've only used it once or twice when I realized I was making my mouth too acid so anyway I'm babbling on far too long and already I've taken up five minutes of your time so um, that's what I do, that's what I've been doing, and um, when I'm all done with my planting, I'll, I'll keep you updated, I'll let you see what I've done, but I'm not going to do it today or tomorrow, no way, um, I just, I'm so tired. I actually have to say that after my walks, my joints no longer ache for some reason. So basically the main problem that I have been having is too many vegetables and this kind of bread that makes me, I realized sometimes when I eat crackers, especially when I eat crackers, it's the same pain. That tight feeling in the top of your stomach like you're so full. Well, that's what white bread does to me and whole wheat does the same thing. So multigrain or nothing. <laughs> I hope I can get used to that. Okay, everybody. Take care and have a good night. Talk to you soon.